Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for stopping by. Ransom has already got us in trouble with the police this morning. They showed up. Not to get Ransom, but to support a good cause, right, Ransom? Mm -hmm. And this video is sponsored by Bamboo Labs. Stick around, we'll show you more about them. But the good cause they're supporting is a 5K, and this 5K supports um, animals, Ransom. The uh, shelter here in Pryor, uh, the 5K we're running this morning is gonna go to support that. So Ransom and I thought it would be a great day to get out and run. Uh, Ransom decided last night that he was gonna run with me, so he's here and ready to go. Ransom, you ready? With Rock and Cheese Animal Shelter, there we go. <laughs> Just the most friendly dogs I've ever came across. They are adorable. So if you guys are looking for a new fur baby, we got them over here. Um, Runners, take your mark, get set, go! Thank you all for coming out, guys. All right, Ransom's doing awesome. Probably about 1K into it. I've been to over there. Your buddies are playing football yeah. and you're out here running. That's not fair. No, you're doing good, buddy. Daddy's proud of you. Halfway. Thank you, guys. Hey. Not far, right behind me is Ransom. Let's go, Ransom! Good job, buddy. Keep it up. Let's go, Ransom! Good job, bud. Good job, Ransom. Finish all strong all the way through. So we just finished the 5K, Ransom, what was your time? 28 minutes. 28 minutes? Yeah. He did an awesome. That's awesome. He did an awesome job. And a subscriber, a friend of ours, um, brought something for Ransom. So it's what is it? It's a gift certificate to Dogwood Junction in Siloam Spring bicycle shop. A bicycle shop, buddy. And I think he got something for Ranger too. Yeah. Got a little awesome. here off of a old truck I used to own. Oh, Ranger will love that. He'll hang you up in his room, won't he? Thank you. You're we appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. All right, this is Almond, and that over there is Rowdy, and they are both available for adoption. Where at, if they were interested? Rock and G Animal Shelter. At Rock and G Animal Shelter in Pryor. So if somebody needs a dog, don't wait. Now's the time. Ransom Walker. Woo! Those are probably the coolest glasses I've ever seen. Uh, moving on, uh, the male 12 and under first place, Ryder Moore. Ransom, after we do something healthy, what do we do? Eat something unhealthy. Something unhealthy. Got some daylight donuts from Polly. So that was a great way to get the day started. And now we need to prepare for BMX, Ransom. Yep. So somebody needs some new numbers, don't they? Yep. I'm going to show them how we make them. Sound good? As you guys know, our family is really into BMX. This last couple of months has been great. And uh, the other day, when we were at the track, this bike, we realized, had the wrong numbers. Well, the right numbers, just in the wrong order. So we had to take off the sticker really fast and use a Sharpie to write the correct number all at the same time. Well, today, I'm going to start solving some problems and fixing this. The first thing I want to do is print some brand new numbers with our Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. So I wanna show you that real quick, um, the printer itself and the numbers that we can print off. The Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer allows anybody to print at home easily with their app. You can search for different things. All I had to do was search for some numbers. I finally found some that I really liked and the boys really liked. These are Mario Kart design numbers and they thought they were really cool. We just finished up the numbers. Here is the eight. 
We have a five and a three. So let's go get these on the bike and see how they look. All right, we got the plate on. What do you guys think? Good. Ranger, you ready for yours? Yep. Pretty cool, isn't it? So I made it out to the garden. You can see I still have some tomato plants growing, but that's about it. But it'll be time for our spring garden before you know it after this winter. And I was able to find a tool that I'm going to use that's going to come in really handy. So I printed this off. It's simple to use and you can know the depth just by looking. Bella wants to help in the garden. But if you're wanting to plant something, all you have to do is take it, make your hole down to the depth you want. Drop in whatever you're planting and cover it up. The dogs want to help. We go to plant this spring. I'll be able to use this to instantly plant to the right depth. The last thing I need to print today is something special for Mazzy. She came to me and said she has a project due this Friday and she has to choose a mammal and put that mammal on a big board, tell all the facts about it, and she wanted an actual mammal itself to be included in the presentation. So. I told her I had an idea, let's just print it. So we just finished printing the dolphin and this is one of the coolest things. Once it's finished, you can just take it right off and I'll show you that. Well, some of this is just supports. So you can go through here and separate the support pieces. So little things like this are really cool because if I didn't have this printer, I would have to go into Tulsa, go by a retail store, search and search for the right little accessory. And this is perfect. It's going to make um, Mazzy's day. But if you guys are interested in the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer, check out the link down in my description. It's awesome because you can print all the different colors. We have four different colors on here. All of those can go um, onto one project and you don't have to start switching it out every single time you want a different color. It's a great printer. Uh, the link is going to be down in the description. So you guys go and check it out. So we made it back and got cleaned up from the run and Ransom is ready for work. You want to tell everybody where you work at now? Locust Grove Feed Store. Locust Grove Feed Store. So Ransom's papa takes him to the feed store and while he's there getting feed, Ransom has a job to do. He gets a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. Not quite getting paid yet, are you? Nope. Just working for uh, suckers? Is that what they have there or bubble gum? No. Um, they have is candy. Just candy? And uh. Candy and pop. So he's working for some sweets. Well, at least I work there now. I get free pop. <laughs> so uh, it just so happens you want to show them the dog food can ransom. Yeah. Just so happens you that we're. To buy new food. Yeah, we're out of dog food. Yeah. We got just a little bit left. So uh, it closes at noon. Ransom's grandpa is going to pick, pick him up and take him there to work for a little bit. And then I'm going to go and get some dog food and a couple other things. So. I'm going to I'm going to check in on Ransom while he's at his job, see if he's really doing his work or see if he's goofing off with the help. Right. So, also, I want to update you guys on a little bit of chicken drama. Um we have a chicken that's been setting on eggs. You may have been uh seeing her on our videos. And guess what? She finally started hatching. But her and another chicken are killing the baby chicks as they hatch. Um I don't know if they're fighting over them or what. So I just went out earlier and I pulled all the eggs and I put them in our brooder and I did have a chicken there, but it passed away because it had been pecked on on the head and stuff. Anyway, it's not pretty, um, but whenever two chickens think they are claiming the same nest, apparently that's what happens. So I'll try to update you guys in a little bit on the chicks, see if any of them hatched or not. All right, Ransom, have a good day at work. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Come down here and see if he's actually working or goofing off. Hey, you're supposed to be working. What are you doing? You got fired. We, no, we got to take breaks. We sent you down here to work, not to goof off. So I got my feed loaded up. Apparently, Ransom has been promoted. He is no longer out here on the feed dock loading stuff up. He's in charge in the store now. So. He's climbing the corporate ladder pretty quick here at Locust Grove Feed. I uh, have to give it to him. He pretty much gets whatever he wants and uh, <laughs> kind of calls the shots. So I'm going to get back to the house, unload this, and catch up with Cassie. Made it back home and finally getting to catch up with Cassie, who is also in her pajamas. But my, I haven't even brushed my hair. We're only going to show her from her uh, top half ranger. 
is working on his manual as he jumps. You I want, haven't even brushed my hair. You want to tell people what a manual is? Okay, I'll talk. A manual is like a wheelie. You keep your front end of your bike up as you ride. And Ranger and Ransom have been working on it. Pretty much they just think it's cool. But in BMX, they also do it when they're doing their jumps. So we'll watch him do it again. Good job. It's hard because that's such a fast drop, bud. Those other ones, you have a bigger hump. So I told Cassie about the chicken situation. I still haven't brushed my hair. <laughs> Am I on track with the chickens, Cassie? Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Well, you are going to take Mazzy to uh, her music lessons in just a little bit her singing lessons so cassie's gonna have to get dressed sooner or later today at some point am i on track though with my chickens you're doing amazing who's the crazy chicken guy now no i'm trying to save chickens lives okay oh. i'm trying to save chickens lives and i'm gonna go out and check on them and see if any's hatched right now so I do like to give Cassie a hard time, but she at least is getting to relax um, at home and enjoy the day before she has to get dressed and take Mazzy to violin. I'm not violin, to uh, her voice lessons. But Mazzy is practicing violin too, so I uh, recorded just a tiny bit. She said she's not ready to video in front of you guys yet, but I recorded a tiny bit of violin from behind the door. Let me show you that. we have guys we have a little chick that hatched i want to keep it over here under the heat right now let's see that's the only one so uh as it would be in an incubator it needs to stay under that heat um but this shed is probably at least 95 degrees anyway so i don't i'm not too worried about it but one hatched and guess what there's no chicken to attack it. So what was happening is the eggs were hatching out in the coop and the chickens were going over there and pecking or fighting over those baby chicks. So unfortunately there were three or four that passed away because of that. And I moved the rest of the eggs out, moved them into the brooder and hopefully they'll survive. So today is the first time I've ever brought Mazzy to her. So, where'd you go? <laughs> Singing lessons. And her and Gary's been telling me about a blessing box here, and Mazzy wanted to put some blessings in it. So we got a sack of goodies before we go into her lessons, and can you hear the piano? I can hear it, and we'll share. When me and Dad came here, we saw a lady coming and got and got stuff out of it. So cool. All right. So it says blessing box. Take what you need, give what you can. So Mazzy's gonna put some goodies in there. Can you just set the whole sack or you think you need to take it out? I need to take it out. Not very much in there, is there? Some beans, what's your head on that door? Oh, yeah. And some chickpeas. So Mazzy's gonna add some green beans. Maybe every Saturday we can bring a few things. Tuna. You're making it look nice. Let me hold this door. So you're gonna hit your head. I keep hitting my booty on it. <laughs> is this about how much stuff is usually in there, or is there usually more? There's not that much. There's not that I'm much. I'm organizing it. Mazzy's got to organize it. another thing of beans back there Where? behind that middle panel all right 
Good job, sis. All right, Mazzy says we go in right here. So we were only in there for 30, 40 minutes and they took the they took a lot of it. That's good. And the green beans. That's good. Somebody needed it. And they took some more bag of beans. So need, next Saturday like we'll bring bean, more. Like two. We'll bring more, okay? We're at one of Mazzy's favorite places. <laughs> so she says daddy either takes her to Chicken Express or Charlie's Chicken. And sometimes I'm in the mood for uh, chick uh, not chicken, but uh, Chick-fil-A, all chicken places. Yep, but we found a brand new Chicken Express in Muskogee. It's a brand new location. So Ranger was in the same shape that Ransom was with numbers. Mom had to switch the five and the eight, and so we had to take his old stickers off. And Ranger wanted these printed with the turquoise in the background and dark blue. So that's what we're gonna put on. We got some new glue to try out. And we're gonna race with it tonight, right, buddy? Yep. I honestly thought I was gonna work on the bus today. And then I came outside and the high is 97 degrees and it's hot. And I decided that uh, since tomorrow, the high is gonna be 89 and all next week, the high is gonna be in the 80s. Uh, I'm gonna wait and work on the bus later. So. I'll show you guys some updates um, soon, I promise. And if you've been following along on catching up with the walkers, they saw the lights, didn't they, Ransom? We, do you see the lights in the bus? Yeah. We now have some lights. But it is so dry and so hot. We desperately need rain, don't we, buddy? I can't wait till we get some rain this week. Uh, we are supposed to get some rain. Everything is just dusty and cloudy, cloud of dust. When you walk, it picks up dust. So if there were any animals that are going to be happy about the cooler weather coming, it has to be the sheep. We get them sheared in uh, early June, and it is now uh, September, and actually later in the month of September. And you wouldn't think it would be having 97 degree days, but this is Oklahoma. You get the full effect. You get the full variety of temperatures. We have times in the winter where we don't get above freezing for several days. We have times in the summer where the highs are in the hundreds for several days in a row. But I do enjoy the seasons, I'll say that. I, I always look forward to seasons changing. And we're gonna check out these eggs. Ransom wants to see. I already looked inside. I guess, am I a crazy chicken dad if I hatch any eggs now? Ransom? <laughs> huh? You already got a crazy chicken mom. All right. Let's... Oh. Ooh, it's so cute. All right. You're not as cute as our little donkey, but you're pretty cute. Good. Just you can set it down right here by the heater. It, it probably doesn't need the heat because it's um, so warm outside. And it's brutal in here. It is brutal in here, isn't it? That's okay. It, they they really like warm temperatures, so it's just fine. So we have one chick, that's a pretty little chick. And we need about a half a cup, bring some here. Let's get about half of that. There you go. And we're gonna pour that out for Mama June. And of course, our little baby Faith is gonna eat some too, probably. Oh. And I'm gonna make sure and get nice, fresh, cold water. Look at her running. What, buddy? Yeah, go ahead and close it back. What up? There they go. Look at face tail wag whenever she starts getting that food. Is that good, Faith? Hi, Faith. Oh, it's a good girl. Faith. 
Yeah. We missed her, didn't we, Ransom? Yeah. Look, there's a bird. If you ever told me, Ransom, that miniature donkeys would be this cute, I would have told you you were lying. I didn't think so. But look how cute. I'm doing so well. She's just a doll, isn't she? Yeah. But she's a big handful. She's a big handful? What did she do to you? Now, somebody said, make sure and pet on Mama June too, so she doesn't think that we don't love her, but we love her. We love everybody here on the farm. But she doesn't have to. She's not as cute. Hey, baby. Oh, look at my baby. I'm not gonna stick her in the feed trough. So she can eat better. She's gonna eat plenty. I wonder how much she eats a day. How much do you eat a day, Faith? Probably she drinks a lot of milk from Mama June. That's why Mama June gets the extra grain right now. All right. I'm gonna go feed the alpaca. Is you gonna go with me or play with Faith? Play with Faith. Play with Faith? Okay. Just let her eat a little bit. See how she's eating? Nibbling on that food. So I'm gonna come out here and feed the alpacas and the donkeys if they come up. So I've been letting the donkeys out on the oh, um, hay pasture for one day at a time and then I'll put them up for two days and I'll let them back out, put them up uh, because I don't want them to eat too much. But you can see this pasture right here is so barren. They pretty much ate it down and they still have to eat. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll come up in just a second once they hear me in here. And I continue to feed them every day because like I said, I wanna draw them up, draw them in, and then close the gate over here um, after they've had a chance to eat. I don't want them go overdoing it out on the grass. Don't want them getting too much protein. So I think they probably had enough for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the gate on them where they can't uh, get back out and eat too much. All right, well, that is your farm update. The animals, I'm gonna go feed the chickens out here. Um, I already took the eggs away from them, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. But we also have uh, BMX tonight. So we are gonna go prepare for BMX and uh, see how that goes. The boys are getting better and better every time. I'm really proud of them for trying something new and sticking with it. So let's take a look at them at BMX right now. Alright, we made it out to BMX. Ranger got his plate done. Is that the right number, Ranger? 853? No, mine's 854. I mean 854. And Ransom is 853. So we tried some different glue out. We're gonna see if it works. Alright, wish us luck. Maybe they'll stay on. Ranger's kind of matches his jersey. Are you ready for some BMX tonight? No, Ranger's been working hard all week and getting more comfortable. Let's see. Walker, we have Kaisley Anderson and we have Josie Europe. Motor 5 is on the track, and it looks like it's Ransom out on point. We've got Kai in that two spot, and we have new rider, Josie, coming in from Salt Lake City, joining us here at Mays County BMX in that third spot. Ransom looking like he's trying to get somewhere in a hurry. He has Kai in that two spot and Josie in the three. Rounding that final turn and bringing him to the line, it is Ransom. He's going to grab your first round low points. Kai's going to grab that oh, two Ransom. spot. Josie Eisenhower. We have Noah Fish. 
We have Ranger Walker. Moto 7 on track. Looks like Noah's checking out early. Brookie Ice right there in his hip pocket. Ranger on that three. Right now we're fishing out front. Brookie Ice in that two and a Ranger on the three. check a permit on this fish. He's going to pull down that first round win. We have Brookie Ice with the two and Ranger with three. So we're catching back up with you guys on a Sunday afternoon. We had a great church service today and we are back home. I did all the chores and finally we're starting to get some sprinkles. I'm so excited about this and um, Ranger and Ransom are on their bikes doing jumps They've got a jump set up over there and another one over here. I think Ranger's going to show you guys. Good job, bud. So they're doing that and tonight is family game night at church. So we're going to go along for some family game night. I think it's for a couple hours and our whole church um, participates, those who want to. And you pretty much just fellowship and play games and have fun and it's just a good time for um, a group of believers to get together and do something different so that's what we're going to do tonight but right now rangers riding through there if you hear all the racket i am cleaning out a minivan and i'll give you a hint this might be the last time i ever clean out this minivan and if that tells you anything we'll ask cassie about it later so one thing we don't use very often is this eighth seat. So this little seat makes our minivan a seven to an eight passenger. And to be complete, it needs it, doesn't it, Cass? Yep. So. It's very dusty from being in the shop. Are you excited to be cleaning out the van for the very last time, possibly? You're just giving it away. Hmm? Yeah. I didn't tell them what, what we're going to do. So they they might not, they don't know exactly, but uh, if you guys miss the minivan already like I do, it's okay. Minivans rock. And the only way you will ever know that is if you own one. Cassie, little, little known fact, did not want a minivan. We went through two Honda Pilots, but after we got three kids, I said, if we can at least go test drive one, just trip, just test drive. It like him a year to talk me into. If it. I could get you behind the wheel to test drive one, let's just be open minded and see what happens. And Cassie, what happened on the test drive? I was very very mad. She was very very mad. Why were you very very mad? Because I drove it and liked it. Because she fell in love. <laughs> no, whenever and. Engineer, the automotive department sat down and drew up a vehicle for families, like especially that has three three kids or more. What they came up with was a minivan, right. and that is what they created and perfected at this point. The push a button and the doors slide open, doors slide shut, no door dings, all the room, everything you need. When I see moms at the drop-off line at school that have three or more kids crammed in this SUV or whatever they've bought, I tell them, you need to get you a minivan. Oh no, never. And I'm like, it's what I said. Do it. Swallow your pride, whatever pride you got, get this part ways with it and but, break down and get you a minivan. Family game night. We're headed into church. Cassie brought Fruit tray. Cut all this up. Took a meat, me a long time. A meat tray. Mazzy has cupcakes and she doesn't like other food, so she got chicken. Boys, what did you bring? Nothing. You don't get to eat. Ransom's dirty mismatched clothes. <laughs> you will put a card down without looking at it. You have to go like this. Taco. And then we would have slapped. Was that a taco? Yeah. yeah. Oh, then we would have all slapped. But don't have it too hard. Now you have to hurry. Turn it over. Go. Cheese. 
Flip one over and say pizza. 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 No! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, Wiley never did it. Oh, or nor did This is just pure chaos. <laughs> uh oh, there's a problem out here. I was moving the bell is strong and I just realized Somebody is on the wrong side of the fence. How did she fit through there? It must have been right here. I'm gonna have to move that panel over a little bit. Baby, Faith, I'm gonna get her in, Mama. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I need to do it to where. So Faith either squeezed through that or she laid down and came up on the wrong side of the panel. But I got her back in where she belongs with Mama June. She's already taking it. Uh oh. <laughs> She's chasing Shelby. Get her, Faith. She don't belong in here. Chase her out. Go get her, baby. Go chase her out of here, okay? Yeah, that's a good girl. Go get her. Shelby, I hope Faith chases you out of here. So, family game night was a success, and it was really, really, really loud. Cassie was pretty it loud. It wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't a huge turnout. Um, you just never know what people have go got going on, but it was a loud turnout. What was that game to call Taco Chicken Monkey Burrito? What was it called? Taco or Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. I've never played that before, and it was entertaining to say the least. I got and to then watch. Happy Salmon. Happy salmon. And we were going to play spoons, but the uh, kids were just a little too young for that. Yeah. So they played some red light, green light. Mazzy's sneaking up on us. So that's a wrap, though, on this weekend. We're going to get um, everybody in bed and ready for the week. But don't forget, if you guys are interested in printing something in 3D, the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer uh, has been a lifesaver for Mazzy's dolphin, right? She's go, you're going to pres present that tomorrow? Yes, because we didn't have enough time because there's 18 people in the class, and sadly, that's the biggest class. All right, but the dolphin worked out well for us. She loved it. The boys' numbers worked out. So we thank you guys, though, for following along with our family. We hope you have a great day, and God bless. We love you guys.